Hunter Hearst Hemsley becomes Triple H when he's a degenerate joining the starting DX. Now, when DX first started, it was just Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Rick Rude, and China. Rick Rude ultimately didn't last long. He ended up going to WCW. Now, this is right after Triple H was right hot off his 1997 King of the Ring tournament win against Mankind in the finals. And then shortly after that, DX was formed. This is when it became one of the most legendary stables, as we know today in professional wrestling. Saying, are you ready? If you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Now, at first, they were called Generation X, but since they were feuding with Bret Hart and the Hart Foundation at the time, he called them Degenerates, and they shortly changed their name to Degeneration X. And after that, that's when they start promoting the cross chop, got the legendary t-shirts that's still hot to this day, everything, the whole shebang. Slowly, when he did that, Triple H started to change his persona he was not the snobbish blue blood that he was previously when he was hunting Hurst Hemsley he started becoming Triple H who was more of a rebel and doing whatever he wanted to do along with D-Generation X so he had more t-shirts leather wore his hair down too because previously he had his hair in a ponytail when he was Hunter Hearst Hemsley. He wore snobbish clothes and bowed when he first came to the ring. But they had a big feud, like I said before, with the Hart Foundation. After that feud ended, he was still feuding with one of the members of the Hart Foundation, the late, great Owen Hart. Now, this was over at European Championship. At this time, this was a new league championship uh, that was held by his previous stablemate, Shawn Michaels, and also British Bulldog at the time. But anyway, they had a match at WrestleMania 14. And the stipulation was that China had to be handcuffed to the commissioner at the time, Sergeant Slaughter, so she wouldn't interfere in the match as she was previously in all his other matches. But during the match at WrestleMania, China threw powder in Sergeant Slaughter's eyes so he couldn't see. That allowed Triple H to get the assist from China, and he ended up winning that match. Now, this is where DX took a turning point, as I like to call it. This is when the turning point happened. At WrestleMania, also, Shawn Michaels faced Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship. He lost the belt to Stone Cold, and that's when Stone Cold became a rising star. But there, he was forced in retirement. And the reason for that, because he had a legit back injury against The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble back in January. So, since he was in temporary retirement, that means he was not wrestling he was off tv at that time as well mike tyson was affiliated with dx in the match prepared against local steve austin but at wrestlemania in the main event mike tyson turned on dx and he aligned himself with stone cold steve austin he even counted one two three for stone cold to win the wwe championship so, with that being said, that played to the storyline, Triple H got on Shawn Michaels about the disloyalty of Mike Tyson. And he told him that he dropped the ball and he was going to take it from there. So, Triple H made himself the sole leader of the Generation X. And once so much Shawn Michaels anymore, it was just him now running the show. So, when he did run the show, of DX, he brought back X Pac, who was previously known as 123 Kid. He was in WCW as a part of NWO. 
that he brought him back that made a lot of noise and of course aligned also aligned already was new edge outlaws along with china's day bodyguard and this ds is one of the best incarnations that i've seen one of the biggest things that they did do as this incarnation was take themselves over to evade wcw in the army truck when they did that that oh my goodness that raised a lot of noise and it was the most iconic moments in raw history in wrestling history all history so it was very exciting and very fun to see this different version of dx this was the first time it was dx with more people and it was also without Shawn michaels also triple h started to feud with another rising star the rock from the nation of domination and those two feuded over the intercontinental championship and they had an iconic ladder match at SummerSlam that year and triple h won that match that's one of the best ladder matches i've ever seen but he didn't get a chance to enjoy his victory for long he was out with the knee injury so that feud didn't last long at that particular time now when triple h did come back from that injury the rock moved on to bigger and better he became the wwf champion at that survivor series later that year so when he did return they did resume their feud but this time it wasn't over intercontinental championship it was over the wwf now known as the wwe championship so when they feuded over that they had a match and rock agreed to let triple h get a shot at his belt and they did it on the january 25th 1999 edition of raw but it was an i quit match and in that match Triple H said, I quit when Kane, a part of the corporation, threatened to choke slam China. And once Triple H noticed that and saw that, he immediately said, I quit. But what Triple H didn't know was China ended up turning on him. And she joined the corporation later on. And later on, after that, Triple H and Kane had a match together against each other at that year's WrestleMania, which was WrestleMania 15. He did defeat Kane in that match, but again, with the assist of China. Now, many people thought that this was going to be a reunion, that China was back on Triple H's side. She was a good person again. Turns out it wasn't Triple H was on her side he became heel and he proved that that night when he had thought that he was going to help X-Pac win the European Championship from Shane McMahon but he ended up turning on X-Pac he pedigreed him he, he pinned Shane arms over X-Pac for the 1-2-3 now at this point Triple H he was still part of DX but he was starting to shy away from that. He wasn't the fun character, making jokes, you know, coming to the ring and cutting promos about joking around. He became more of a serious character that was obsessed and wanted the WWE Championship. He wanted that title more. So that's when his character started to change. And you notice his antics and everything. He even started to uh, beat up people if he didn't get what he wanted. But this is also still when he was known as Triple H. There was no more Hunter Hearst Hemsley, and it was Triple H DX, but it's also when he became a mid, not for mid card, but mid card slowly going to the main event as Triple H. Now that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to have more videos talk about how Triple H became the game. Until then, it's um.